So I just I just get bored of Obsidian because it just works. It it does what it needs to do. Like I, for the last six seven months, I've done basically nothing to my system because it just works. I, I don't need to change anything. And in this video, I'll show you like the minimal setup that I have inside of Obsidian. You don't need to do anything special, like one community plugin, maybe two at a push. Uh, and then how I use it with my calendar because I, I I don't need to do anything else. Like when I look in Obsidian, this is just the headings in this page. This is the the one main page of all the research projects that I'm doing. In the left, this is an Excel spreadsheet. This is just a shortcut to an information page. Uh, another information page, then Excel spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet, uh, and Morgan uh, Obsidian page, and then uh, a quick notes, which is down there. The quick notes are more personal notes, but they're just a file with a couple of personal notes. Like, yeah, I just had to quickly go check. It's just notes from webinars and courses and conferences and things like that that I don't have a file for because it was just one screenshot or one line that I'm going to put into a research project in one of these. So I, I don't really need a full file for it. And when you look at my files and folders, this is my entire computer system, not Obsidian system, computer system. So any books that I've read or written or anything relating to books that are on my shelf is inside of this folder here. Eastbourne Trampoline is the sports club that I run. So any documents, whether that's grant fundings, PDFs, invoices, all of that is inside of this folder. So it's not Obsidian specific, it's external files. Other folders are other invoices and other work related things. So instead of having a physical file for it, it's all on my computer, which I can see inside of my Obsidian. Projects are actually Obsidian markdown files. So when I click here, you can see uh, we've got some canvases there, but an Excel file, and then loads of other project files down here, which is what you can see in the main screen there. They are tasks from project files. Source files is the YouTube videos, the podcasts, the blogs, all of the sources if I have lots of things to say about it. So uh, oh, that's my image folder. If I click in here, you can see there's the title of the paper, the authors, the URL, there's a chair link, and then all of the, the highlighted points inside of the source. With a template folder that has a few templates in, the main one that I use is this project template. You can probably ignore most of everything else that's inside of this project template because it's the projects that I work with. You can see the headings there, packaging, title, thumbnail, sources. This is for YouTube projects, so I turn my research into YouTube videos sometimes. If not, then I just write it inside of the script. I get rid of uh, all of these points and then just write my points on the research. But this top bit is the, the main part, I guess, of the project template that I actually use, which is a task. It is a simple task if I go to the source view you can see it's just a task block it's got 10 hours because that's how roughly long it takes me to turn a idea into a project and then it's got a project tag so i know it's a project because i have loads of other tasks inside of obsidian so this is just saying hey yep this is uh, an obsidian project not just a task and what this does this is template a script to just add the title of the file in. So when I go down to settings, community plugins, that little bit of code is the template script. You don't even have to have the code. You could just manually write out the name of the task each time. I'm a little bit lazy, so I don't. Quick add, if I go to the settings, go into the coach project, all this is doing is saying, when I use the shortcut, add the project template, which is what you just saw, into the projects folder. So the quick add plugin and the template plugin means if I push control N, go enter for coach project, type in new project and push enter. You can see we've got new project in the name of the task and then the new project file, which is in the projects folder. But you could easily do that without plugins by going right click, new note, then typing new project, and then just typing or using the default template. So these are the, the default templates, brings you a list of all the templates in the folder, and then I would use project template. There it is, and I wouldn't need that script because I would type it out. So even though I'm using community plugins, you can do it with Core Obsidian, it just takes a couple of seconds longer. The reason I use a task at the top and not any metadata is because I use the Obsidian task plugin. This one right here from Claire, so if I left click, you can see there's the Obsidian task plugin and it does everything that I need it to do. Let's just update it. And this is the page that I live on. You can see it's pinned, research project is right at the top. These are the three tasks. These are projects, but these are project tasks that are due soon. So even though it says it's being ticked, it's actually in progress. So when I right click, I can change the status to done, in progress or cancel. So right click, you can see it's in progress. When I scroll down, I then have my high priority tasks. 
which are actually projects, then medium, and as you can see, we've then got low, normal, and then the others, because there's different levels of priority. These are due because there is a due date. I can click on the calendar, change the due date. I can click on the link. It opens up the file, which when I jump down, will then have all of the sources ready for me to work on it. And to show you the query, I'm looking for things that are not done, things that have the project tag, because I don't want all of them, something that has a due date, because this is the due date section. I don't like seeing the task ID, so I hide it, or the tags, because I know it's project, so I hide it. And then I don't want it to include the uh, template file, so I just say path does not include templates. And now I have all of those tasks. And the high priority is basically the same thing, except priority is high. And I'm sure you can imagine, but the medium one is the same thing, just priority is medium, and then low and normal. A quick caveat here for bringing Obsidian into Morgan. Morgan is a paid tool. I also work for Morgan in customer support. So there is a little bit of bias as to why I use Morgan over any other calendar app, but you could do it inside of Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar or iCloud or whatever. Morgan is my preference because I can actually bring in the Obsidian tasks to Morgan. And so I'm going to show you a very reduced version of my calendar. So in the left sidebar, I have all of my tasks. This is a saved filtered view. So you can see it's looking for any Obsidian task that is tagged with project. Those are the tasks that I've just gone through. And then anything in the task list, which is YouTube, my Morgan task list, which is YouTube, because that's also related to the research. I just call it YouTube because they're YouTube videos. If I go up to this filter view, I could then add tasks from any of these other places. I could add other tasks like high priority or certain statuses, task size, due dates, or any file specifically, but I do it by tag. These are other saved filtered views. So you can see there's the research one, there's my Morgan one, inbox, that's everything. So if I click on there, everything from any of these sources will appear inside of this list but I don't want that, I'm going to go to research. And you can see the due soon list inside of my Obsidian is somewhat mimicked by the due soon inside of Morgan because the due dates are brought across, they're synced. So I can see these tasks are due soon and I'm actually hiding my task calendar at the moment because it would look very cluttered. So I can show you what these frames do. This is a Morgan specific thing with the air planner. This is a frame, if I go to edit, you can see there's an event, a task, or a frame. A frame is like a special event where Morgan can suggest when tasks are available. And at the moment, everything's available because like I say, I'm hiding everything, but it's looking for the tag is hashtag project. Now you can do this if I go into the filters by selecting any of the integrations and then coming down and looking for tag or using the save filters. I use the save filter because it's far quicker, but uh, for this one, if, let's go back to edit. For this one, it's just looking for the obsidian tag this one, I go to edit, just looking for the obsidian tag. This one, if I go to edit, this one is actually looking for both of them because I've set the research save filter in there. Now I can push the schedule button or what I do is at the beginning of my day or at the end of the week to schedule the week, push the AI planner button. And you can see Morgan is suggesting time for when I do these tasks. I've put a time estimate of 10 on the Obsidian task, so it's suggesting 10 hours for the slot project. And then I've got the GPS project in going afterwards. But Morgan is also actually suggesting all of these other tasks that I should probably be, do be doing because they are either overdue or due soon, which I haven't got them scheduled on the calendar for. And these tasks aren't on my calendar yet. I have to put the schedule all button. So I can, let's just say, block out a time there. Let's say I've got a blocked event and Morgan will then readjust. It's going to add that calendar in. So you can see now there's my events calendar, but now it's readjust and said, actually, you've only got time to do this and then I can schedule it on. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to schedule those in. And I can actually get rid of that blocked as well. And you see, now I've got my events calendar. If I push one on my keyboard, it's going to show everything else. As you can see, I've got my habits in green, I've got my tasks in blue, and then I have the record frame, if we go to edit, you can see it's got the same frame filters, it's just in a different task calendar. So what you just saw is my sport YouTube calendar, which is the other channel I have. This is everything else. So I've got other people's calendars, my calendars, different calendars, tasks in different lists, etc, etc. So this is the rest of my day, but I figured I'd make it a little bit simpler when I first showed you the frames. So there's a quick update about how I'm using Obsidian and Morgan to manage three jobs, volunteering and a social life. <laughs> so yeah, have a good Easter and whatever time day it is where you are when you're watching it.